This is the CMMG46, chambered in, you guessed it, 4.6 by 30 HK. This gun is CMMG's attempt to bring the 4.6 cartridge that the MP7 is so known for to the civilian market. But is it any good? Let's find out. Sonora Desert Institute is a DEAC accredited online college that helps students learn the skills and techniques they'll need to succeed in the firearms industry. Whether you want to learn about ARs, bolt action, kydex, ballistics, woodworking, or pretty much anything else related to guns, they handle it all. With SDI, you can build the foundation to what you love, get your hands dirty, and develop skills, real skills, for the career that you've always wanted. To learn more, check out the link in the video description, down in the comments, or in my Instagram bio to learn more. Thanks to SDI for sponsoring this video. CMMG is known for making AR-style pistols and rifles in a lot of cool calibers, and this one is no exception. They've taken their existing Banshee platform and chambered it in 4.6 by 30 HK. 4.6 has been a bougie niche caliber developed by H&K in the late 90s, and has been exclusive to the HK MP7, which is unobtainium for the average consumer. Until now. We have all seen YouTubers mag dump an MP7 and wondered, what does the 4.6 feel like to shoot? Now we actually have a fantastic platform to run this neat cartridge. So let's dig into the specs of this bad boy. This is a direct impingement AR style pistol chambered in 4.6 by 30 HK. It has an eight inch threaded barrel and an M-Lock handguard sporting a titanium Cerakote finish. It has an ambidextrous charging handle on safety and sports CMMG's rip brace. The gun comes with a single 40 round proprietary mag and before you all cringe, the mags are only like 40 bucks online, which isn't horrible if you consider it's a proprietary mag in a bougie cartridge. It's currently sporting a Sightmark MTS, which is a $200 solar optic because I gotta flex on the rich. All right, before we get into the shooting experience, I wanna give a shout out to AmmoSale.com. They did provide some of the ammo for this video. All right, so how does it shoot? Right out of the box, this gun had everybody grinning from ear to ear. The gun recoils like shooting a 22, and because it's so fast and so flat, it's almost effortless. It's like a video game. <laughs> we could see it. I like that thing. We started with a big old muzzle brake on it, which looked really cool, and it enhanced the obnoxious muzzle blast that everyone around the shooter had to experience. Air coming out of that muzzle brake is shocking. Right? It's shocking. I thought I was gonna lose my hat. <laughs> <laughs> shocking. That's cool. It, I like that a lot. That thing's freaking awesome. But the gun doesn't really recoil enough for that to matter, so we swapped it out with a YHM Phantom. That really stepped up the shooting experience for us. All right, guys, we've got the YHM Phantom 22. It's a relatively new 22 can on there, and because this is similar in ballistics to like a 5.7, this can is, in theory, going to handle this really well. So we'll put a couple in the dirt and see how it does. Here we go. <laughs> That's great. This is rad. As you can guess, that also did add to the gun fouling up a lot faster, which by the end of the day led to a few malfunctions. Wasn't really a big deal. We just drenched the gun in CLP and it seemed to keep going. 
Oh, malfunction. Ooh. Let's... It is very, very dirty. Max heated. There it goes. <laughs> it's a little dirty. So given the lineage of the 4.6, I insisted we put a couple rounds through one of the uh, soft armor panels that we had, and the results were pretty interesting. All right, we've got this level 3A Premier body armor that uh, we're gonna test out because 4.6 should be able to sail right through this stuff. Shout out to Tactical Baby Gear. We did some work with them a long time ago and that's actually one of their inserts. Yep. Okay, so 3A plate downrange, here we go. Okay, a few rounds into the armor plate, send it. <laughs> it jumped. All right, go grab that thing and we'll look at it. Save that, that's like a dollar. Yeah, my precious. Okay, talk me through the hits, point them out. And... All right, um, I went center for the first round and then I went high and then it kind of jumped a little bit and then I went low. So you got kind of spread out across the whole yeah. panel. And the third round, uh, it was kind of at an oblique angle because it fell over a little bit, which should be interesting. Oh, oh, okay. So I see. Did it contain that one? It stopped one. Yeah. So that was full metal jacket. It's yeah. in there. Can you feel it in there or no? Yeah, I feel it. It's right here. Okay. Right there. Uh, the other one, that tore right through. And then that one definitely that's tore right through. Definitely through. So it stopped one out of three. That's, that's, that's just regular FMJ, though. That's <clears> the do pedigree. you think this was the oblique angle one? Yeah, I think this was the oblique angle one. Which it also pushed up a lot of, like, you can feel in here. It, like, it's, gathered it? It's, yeah, it's gathered it up higher. It's huh. bunched. That's interesting. How's about that? Cool. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so I was wrong. That is not everything. It could be that some of it got through, but there's definitely... It looks like a piece of jacket like a piece of jacketing yeah it's a piece of jacket. oh, you can see a little something in there that's just a little little band of jacket right there huh now if any of you guys want to see a more in-depth penetration test we're talking handcuffs high-speed footage maybe some ballistics gel let us know in the comments i'm really excited for that so bottom line is this gun any good yes all right, the ammo might be a little bit hard to come by, but it's reasonably priced. It's pretty close to 5.7, which has been already adopted by the industry. It's a $1,400 gun, which sits right around the general price range for CMMGs. Not super cheap, but you have to remember it's a hell of a lot cheaper than an MP7. So this shooting experience turned us into a bunch of children, which was a little embarrassing. <laughs> that is too much fun. That is too much fun. But you know what? It's a solid platform. It's filling a niche gap in the industry that no one even noticed. So good job, CMMG. That was a click, so that's, yep, we're empty. Dude, this thing is awesome. I was not expecting it to actually work that well at 200, but it's smacking or lot. I think if we put a magnified optic on there, we'd do just fine. Oh, you would do great at 200. I almost want to do that. Yeah, we should definitely put something better. Put a sight mark on here. I mean, just more op more magnification would probably just do the trick. Yeah. More like a 1x, 1 to 4 type thing. I, I want to keep flexing on the rich, though, with the four optics. Can we do that? My, my man bun? You recording? Yeah. All right, cool. Look at it flopping majestically.